Well, I did it again. Another one. I'm going to stop buying bikes. This time, I've bought a Yamaha. It's an FZ6S. Um, looks no too bad for this side, but wait till you come round this side. Oh, where's the fern going? Yeah, so there's a lot of things to do on this bike. Luckily, the forks seem to be okay, thank goodness. But it's taking the impact on the fern, on the tank. Bit of scuff on the frame. Luckily, these crash bars were on or it would be totally written off. Yeah, I'm on the back here, the, the grab rail. It's needing one here. I noticed the one that's on is all cracked and crazed, I should say. Um, so I've got another one for here. The back plastic's all sort of the same. Um, so I'll probably have to get that um, buff this panel down. The tank, once I get the tank off it, I'll get something inside and try and push that down out as best I can. Um, and then tidy it up. The only thing that really worries me, that really worries me, is this bit on the rocker cover. But the gasket's sticking out here. There's a wee chip came off of here. Now, if I have to, I'll have to get another rocker cover. Um, as needs must. The gasket's been ripped out of there. Um, but what I'll do is I'll try and start her first and run it and see how she runs. Um, and if that's no pissing out oil, then I'll maybe end up just taking the cover off putting a new gasket on, a wee bit extra sealant, um, and that should do it. There's a wee bash here in the radiator. It's just on the cover though, the radiator itself's okay, so I can straighten that out. Um, everything else seems to be fine on it. That'll need to come off and get sanded down and repainted. Um, and a foot peg. Foot peg. Wheels seem to be okay. I've been round them and checked them for cracks and things and the wheels seem to be fine. Um, and, oh dear, brake caliper. It's actually, it looks really bad, but to be honest, it's just, you know this bit here? It bolts on, that would probably bolt back onto the handlebars. Um, how does it go? I don't know how it goes. Oh, that's been bent, that's why. So, that's been bent, but that would probably bolt back on with that wee bracket. Um, and I could reuse that again, but we'll see how it goes. I'm not that fussy, but this is it. I'm just going to give it a quick wash and see what she comes up like. Um, I've got the keys in it as well, which is a good thing. Battery seems to be dead. I have bothered turning the ignition off and on. Um, I guess just, I don't know if whether the lock's got shunted or something, but, but that's easy enough. I can take the, the barrel out and can they straighten it up and lube it and get it all working again, put it back together. But I mean, it's pretty original, you know, even the exhausts. Nobody's drilled them out or anything, they're all pretty original, so... If I can get it back to its original, um, yeah, I'd be quite happy with that, and then... Probably sell it after that, I would think. Anyway, I'm going to get a quick wash, just to see what she looks like. That's it, wash and wipe down. Everything looks better. Oh, <coughs> bless you. Everything looks better when it's clean-ish. So that'll do it for just now. Um, 
certainly looks okay for this side. Just a shame about the other side. Just in case anybody's wondering. Um, yeah. In case anybody's wondering, this isn't a... It's not a right off or anything. It's, it's been a, a private owner um, who's had an accident on it and obviously doesn't want to claim shoes insurance. So I decided to sell it off at the auctions. That's fair enough. Um, it would have been declared the right off if he did try and claim it's shoes insurance, but luckily he didn't, which means I don't have to worry about all this nonsense, um, having to go for a VIV inspection and all that, so if I get this all fixed up, um, get it roadworthied, registered, run about with it for a wee bit and then put it up for sale. Um, these things in mint condition are selling for about six grand. Um, if I get that fixed up, get on the road, pff, I don't know, between three and four, something like that, maybe. We'll see how it goes. Who knows, I might even like it and keep it for myself. Although I very much doubt that. Now when you've got a bloody Goldwing and KTM. So, I've made a wee parking space for it in front of the Jeep. So I'll get that put in there, and that should be that. Well, that's our set up for the next wee while. I wouldn't be starting her just now. I'll be having a, a quick look over her to see all what's needing done. But um, that's her all parked up for the meantime. The other thing I was going to say is the mirror's <laughs> been snapped off. So if I go and get a new fairing, I'll get one with the mirrors. If I can get one for the rakers, maybe. Um, either that or I can put barring mirrors on or something like that. Anything will do. Um, I might even convert it to a naked. You know, like the, I forget what model it is. But uh, there's a naked version. Um, just the one big headlight on it. And a wee, you can put a wee um, windscreen on it as well. But I might do that. I might just turn it into a naked. It might be easier. But I'll see how it goes. But anyway, so that's it for today. Um, the scooter, I'm still waiting on the service pack coming for that and I need to get my fillers for doing the bodywork. Um, and me and the wife's in the middle of recovering the, the seat for it. So when all the service stuff comes, I'll get that done. Um, we've still got this 125 Honda. Don't know what to do with it, to be honest. I really don't. They're not worth a lot of money. Um, so I might just strip it and sell it for spares. It's got a good engine, it's done one and a half thousand k's. Um, it's done nothing. So it's like a new engine, more or less. The wheels, tyres, everything's new. Exhaust, everything on it's new. But to get a, a VIV report, I found out it's about 600 bucks to get that done. And if it fails, you've got to pay again. And they're really, really stringent, you know, with the seats and shit like that. So it's no worth trying to repair a repairable write-off unless you're going to make a good few grand out of it. That would be Honda 125. You'd be lucky, when it's done up, you'd be lucky to get a couple of grand for it. If you're lucky. There's a lot of them for sale. So I might just split it um, and sell it for parts. That might be the easiest way. Um, but hopefully we'll get a scooter on the road and hopefully we'll get this Yamaha on the road as well. But anyway, that's it for today. I'll speak to you later. Bye just now. <laughs>